Emotive Insight is Emotive's award-winning five-channel EEG headset. It has channels at the frontal, AF3, AF4, parietal, PZ, and temporal, T7 and T8 lobes, providing in-depth brain dial, wireless, and streams over Bluetooth. Designed for brain-computer interface, Emotive Insight's data streams allow for endless possibilities and applications, including raw EEG, mental commands, performance metrics, frequency bands, facial expressions, and motion data. Emotive's newest Insight model, Insight 2.0, has 20 hours of battery life and Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, giving you endless opportunities for data collection. Its proprietary polymer sensors provide excellent connectivity with minimal setup time. In this video, you will learn how to get a good quality EEG signal with your Insight headset and connect it to your Emotive software for recording. If connecting via Bluetooth on macOS, turn on Bluetooth on your computer. Head to your Emotive software, open the Emotive app, click on the Devices tab, we will show you this in your Emotive app, and click on the Refresh button and wait patiently for your Insight to appear in the device list. Click on the pink Connect button and your headset connection screen will appear. If connecting via Bluetooth on Windows, open your computer's Bluetooth settings, click on Add New Device, and find your Insight in the list. Click on it. If it is not available, exit the Bluetooth menu, turn the headset off, and try this again. Note that your headset cannot be paired to Bluetooth and dongle at the same time. If the computer has a history of Bluetooth pairing with your Insight, this connection will take precedence over your dongle connection. To pair to a dongle, you should forget the device on your machine or switch your Bluetooth off before attempting to connect with a dongle. If you fail to connect, Check your headset is powered on, turn it off and on again, and try again. If your Insight does not show in your device list, it is not paired to your computer via Bluetooth and you must go into your device settings to pair it. Once you have your headset connected and you can see the headset setup screen, the first step is to apply the supplied primer fluid to the sensors. Take the primer fluid from your headset kit and apply it all over the gummy part of the sensors. You only need a drop or two of primer fluid per sensor. Spread out the drop on each sensor with your finger. If required, you can easily make extra primer fluid using 20% saline, salt and water, and 80% glycerin. Once your sensor tips are properly wet, you are ready to fit your headset. Before fitting the headset, note the black reference sensor that is meant to sit on the bony part behind the ear. Bend it in slightly so that when it is on, it sits firmly against your skin. Orient yourself with your headset. The reference sensor and the main bulky part of the headset are the left of the headset, with the two paired sensors sitting on the front of your forehead. Take your headset and place it over your head like you are putting on a crown. It is critical that the reference sensors make contact with the skin behind the ear. Focus on these sensors first, removing any hair from underneath the sensors and ensuring skin contact with the rubber gummies. Now work your way around the sensors, ensuring proper contact. It might be necessary to wiggle each sensor underneath the hair or part the hair where the sensor sits. The PZ sensor sits on the crown of the head. Slide it back and forth to work the sensor through the hair to make contact with the scalp. Now let's check the signal quality map that shows how good the connections of the sensors are. The map is color coded with black, red, orange, light green and dark green to indicate no signal, bad, poor, satisfactory and good signal quality respectively. The sensor with a black dot inside it is the reference sensor that sits behind your left ear. This must be green for any of your other sensors to be green. The trick here is to adjust each sensor individually and then sit still for at least 5 seconds and wait for the sensor quality to settle before moving the sensor again. You won't be able to tell if your adjustment is working if you are moving continuously. If you are struggling with a particular sensor, while it is on your head, you can maneuver some more primer fluid onto the sensor. You will ensure that your contact quality, which measures the signal's impedance, are all dark green before checking the EQ or EEG quality tab. Once we have achieved a green signal, you can switch to the EQ tab to ensure that the EEG quality is acceptable for recording. The EQ map is measuring the quality of the brain signal for each sensor, and it takes into account movement, noise, signal amplitude, and many other parameters that make it much more sensitive. It is totally normal for the EQ to flicker, but when you are sitting still, you should be able to achieve a 100% green signal. It does take time for the signal to settle, so adjust each sensor individually, sit still, and wait patiently for 3-5 to five seconds. If the signal flickers green at any point, it's likely the signal is good, but it is imperative to sit still to see if it maintains the green. 
To reiterate, it behaves very differently to CQ and it is not expected to remain steady at all moments in the recording, particularly if people are not sitting still. If you would like to see your raw signal rather than the EQ map, open your Emotive Pro application, connect your headset and go to the raw EEG tab. This is an example of a clean signal. Your brainwaves should not be overlapping and they shouldn't look noisy. It is also a good idea to check that the wireless connection is working well by clicking on the Data Packets tab in Emotive Pro. The sawtooth pattern should be smooth and there should be no vertical red lines, which indicate that samples have been lost. If you are losing any packets, try moving away from other electronic devices such as televisions or wireless routers. If your sensors remain orange or red, ensure your hair is out of the way, the sensor is touching the scalp and there is enough primer fluid. You can apply the primer fluid directly to the scalp if necessary. Once your EQ is all green, even if it is occasionally flickering, you can be assured that your recording is going to be high quality brain data. Happy brain scanning! If you are someone with long hair, it's helpful to get most of the hair out of the way. The best hairstyle for this is a very high half ponytail, so that the ponytail sits on top of the head and the hair is coming upward from the ears, so parts of the scalp are visible. Take the hair from above the ears against the grain. It really helps to make sure that the hair is going in the upward direction. Tie it loosely on the top of your head. If any of your sensors are completely black and do not change at all throughout your setup, you may have a faulty sensor, which is worth checking in your Emotive Pro app using the raw EEG window. Switch out of your sensors. If it is still not working, or if you see a flat line for any of your sensors, you should contact Emotive support for assistance.